What do you want to tell the kids? Okay, that sounds good. Let's get started. It's Linda Walker from the Stark County Sheep Committee, and I'm here with Gracie Steiner, who is one of our 4-H'ers, and she's going to help us out this evening, and she's going to show you how to fit your market animal for the show. So Gracie, go ahead. We're just going to start basically with just blowing off all the water. He just got a bath, so he's all fresh and clean. Most of the shavings and stuff in his legs will blow out with the blower. Um, other than that, we will put our oil on our premier flick shears <laughs> and we will get started. So Gracie, explain to everyone what you're going to do now with the next process is. Okay. Um, now that we've blown him out, um, he's, he's still a little damp, which is good for your clippers. Just a big thing. Don't blow him completely dry. Um, legs, you can probably blow completely dry. We usually do or we get as close as we can and then we'll finish blowing him out when we're ready to fit the legs. Um, really with the slick shearing, we just clip as close as we can to the body. Um, you can see he's got a little bit of wool growth. He just got rough sheared a few weeks ago. and. Um, basically we just clip as close to the body as we can so the judge can get an accurate evaluation on your lamb. So with the shearing on um, the clippers, do you wash and use wet for every clipper or is there a special clipper you use? These are special clippers. Um, if you are just like rough shearing your, like, your breeding stock, like your ewes or your rams or something, um, you'll usually have the bigger shears that are more heavier duty and more equipped to handle the dirt and the grime that come with them. Um, these ones are actually really small blades for a really, really short cut. Um, these don't handle the dirt as well. Um, if you're using this kind of clipper, then you need to make sure you have all of the dirt, all of the grime, all the hay, everything off so that your clippers will stay in good health all the time. Okay, let's get started. We will use a slicker brush and we'll basically just kind of even everything out so we can blend it all. There's still some blending to do with the legs and pretty much what we like to do is we like to go from, we'll find the hawk in here and we'll just blend this all out so it looks kind of smooth. Um, one thing that I've been taught was actually, um, if you can put a thing of Cheerios around your lamb's legs, they are not blended. So that's been drilled into my head a lot. Bath, so we're just trying to help him kind of kickstart it and make his skin look all good. And yeah. Ooh, it smells good too. It does smell very good. <laughs> Makes you smell good too, huh, Fred? And another big thing is fly spray. Um, you can purchase it from anywhere from like TSC, any kind of farm animal store. Um, it's a very big thing that we use on our farm. Um, it kind of helps, it keeps the flies off so you don't get those little nasty fly bites and the red spots that look really unappealing. 
Do you need to kind of watch the fly spray though towards the show so that, that if you happen to win, it doesn't show up in the yes. um, urine analysis? We haven't run into that problem yet, but I have heard of the drug testing where it actually will pick up on the fly spray. So if you can avoid using it, then that would be perfect. Well, that's a wrap, and I think Fred kind of liked his grooming session here. He's been such a good boy, and he looks wonderful. And we want to thank DNS Family Farms for allowing us to come in and video this demonstration. And Gracie Steiner, she is our junior representative to the Sheep Committee. And if any one of you need any help doing any of this or have any questions, you can contact the Sheep Committee, and we would be very happy to help you out. So until the next video, bye for now.